from this day forward, their lives will never be the same right before Thanksgiving. Tonight, the whole Shaker Heights community is stunned at the murder of Aisha Fraser Mason, a beloved teacher in the school district found dead in her driveway this morning. The suspect in her murder, her ex-husband, former Cuyahoga County judge and city administrator Lance Mason. Tonight, he is in the hospital and off the job. Good evening and thank you so much for joining us at 11. I'm Lena Lai. We have team coverage of this story still developing at this hour. Our Ray Strickland is learning new details on just how tough the community is taking Aisha's loss. But first, let's get you caught up on how all this all began. Around 9 this morning, Shaker Heights police were called to Fraser Mason's home on Chagrin Boulevard. They found her body stabbed to death in the driveway. Sources tell WKYC Lance Mason killed her, attempted suicide, then tried to run. He hit a police cruiser backing out of the driveway and sent an officer to the hospital. No update on the officer's condition tonight, but Mason is also in the hospital after the suicide attempt. Cleveland Mayor Frank Jackson also issued a statement tonight saying Mason is fired from his job as a minority business development director for the city. Now let's head back to Ray Strickland now learning about the life of Aisha Fraser Mason. Ray. And Lena, we've learned that she was a sixth grade teacher at Woodbury Elementary School. She taught, uh, she was a teacher, excuse me, for nearly two decades. Over her life and career, we were told Frazier Mason touched so many people. We spoke to people close to her tonight who say heaven has just received a magnificent angel. Aisha Frazier Mason, a mother of two and loved by so many. Family, friends, and her Shaker Heights students mourning her loss tonight. A family member of Frazier Mason says love, family, community, and service defined her life. Her uncle, well-known public speaker George Frazier, telling Channel 3 tonight his niece mattered and says she will sorely be missed by all. While our family and friends mourn this tragic loss, heaven just got a magnificent angel. Frazier says they can deal with death, but adds the violent manner in which she died is very hard to accept. This is surreal. Former Cuyahoga County Judge Lance Mason is the prime suspect in the death of his ex-wife, Frazier Mason. Police say he stabbed her to death around 9 in the morning on Chagrin Boulevard. Sources tell us after the attack, Mason attempted to kill himself. I was sad, like... She was just my teacher last year, so like I remember her really good. So I was sad. A former student of hers says he can't believe she's gone. She was just really good. She's one of my favorite teachers. So it was like crazy to hear that she passed away. The Shaker Heights School District tells us her loss is unimaginable and profound. The district says she touched so many lives and will be deeply missed. And Ray, it is so heartbreaking. And as a teacher, she touched, like you said, so many lives, especially young lives. What do we know? I, we know it is early, but what do we know is being done to remember her? Well, at this point, Lena, we do know that a GoFundMe campaign was created for Fraser Mason. We do know that she leaves behind two young children. We know that one of them is in the third grade and the other is in the fifth grade, so they're uh, really young. Uh, we do know, um, uh, or I should say, the GoFundMe is going to be on our website. It is on our website, excuse me, at WKYC.com. We were in contact with the district. We're not sure if there's going to be a visual uh, anytime soon, but in the days to come, if we do get some information on that, we will let the people know at home on how and where they can find it. Okay, thanks so much, Ray. Well, it is a stunning fall from grace for Lance Mason, who is a former assistant county prosecutor, state lawmaker and county judge. He served in the Ohio House in the early 2000s and was elected to the Ohio Senate in 2006. He was appointed Cuyahoga County Judge in 2008 and was later elected to a six year term. But in 2014, Mason was accused of beating his wife. He was convicted and served nine months of a two year prison term. Now, when asking the judge to be released from prison early, Mason's attorneys included letters he wrote to his wife and kids. Mason wrote, quote, that he was fully responsible for the assault in front of their girls and quote, I failed as a husband and father and a man. After his release from prison, Cleveland Mayor Frank Jackson hired Mason as a minority business development director and a month later, the Ohio Supreme Court moved to indefinitely suspend Mason's law license because of his conviction. And now, nearly a year later, Mason arrested for suspicion of the murder of his ex-wife. Stay with Channel 3 News both on air tomorrow morning and online for the latest in this developing story.